Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing a pull station, a uh, strobe, and a heat detector in the shed. So obviously this is my shed. Take a look around, not that much to it. Um, it's a pretty small shed, but I kind of do want to have a heat detector up there and maybe like a pull station, a strobe by the door, just for fun. Obviously it might protect a little bit, but it's not required by code or anything, uh, obviously. Um, so yeah. All right, same deal for the shed. I'm using uh, zone seven, so I ran cable uh, through the ceiling and then over to this box, which I was able to use for the outdoor uh, alarm. So of course, um, that's the new cable. So I'm going to run the wire outside and then to the shed, same way I did for the other outdoor stuff. Also, you can see my wire mold is coming off. I have to restick that on. That's kind of the disadvantage of using the ultra thin wire mold because it doesn't have any actual screw holes. Um, so you just have to rely on the adhesive, which as you can see, isn't really that good. Here's where I'm going to put the stuff. So I think I'm gonna put the pull station right about there. And then the notification appliance will be here. And then I'm going to run wire to a heat detector that's like up there. All right, so I'm just gonna drive in these boxes. All right, that looks good. Just like kind of level it a little bit. All right, so there's the pole station box. You can see it's level for the most part. All right, I also went ahead and installed this box for the alarm. Um, it's also level, so that's pretty cool. So at this point, you could just run your wire and then call it a day, but because I don't want to make it look too terrible, I'm going to use these cable clamps, and then I'm also going to staple my wire down. All right, so I started running my fire alarm wire. For those of you who are curious, this is 18-2 fire alarm cable, so it's 18 gauge to conductor cable and then solid of course. I have all of my wiring run um, to all the boxes so now I can go ahead and staple the wires. All right, I've gone ahead and stapled down the uh, cables. So basically these are actually a little bit too uh, heavy duty if you will for this uh, small fire alarm cable. It's more designed for like Romex but it's really all I have right now and it works perfectly fine so I'm gonna use it. For those of you who are wondering why I'm installing a heat detector and not a smoke detector, um, this is a really hot shed in the summer and it's a really, really cold shed in the winter and a heat detector um, won't really be affected by things like that, whereas like a smoke detector is probably going to get affected by those temperatures. Um, so that's why I'm installing a mechanical heat detector in here. Also because of course this is the last device, it's considered the end of line, so I had to put a resistor there. So there, that's installed. All right, so I've gotten all of the devices installed, heat detector. Uh, I chose an RSS here. Um, although it is an indoor device because it's technically inside of a shed, it's fine. I have like a billion RSSs, so I decided to put one in here. I also have a uh, BG-8 in here. I do really like the BG-8. I think it goes well with the RSS. So now all I have to do is actually run the wire uh, to the shed. So what I have to do is actually like dig a channel in the grass and then go all the way to this window where I run my cable. Um, so yeah, I have started running my cable. This is 22-4 cable. Um, I would use real fire alarm cable, but because this is going to be buried and it's just serving as a communication line, I think this is decent cable and it was also really cheap. So now as you can see, I'm basically digging a little channel for the cable to pass through. So here I'm running it under the little channel I dug. Basically, you can see it just tucks in there and then I kind of stomp the grass back down or not the grass, it's mostly just weeds. But um, so yeah, it's basically like natural conduit, earth's conduit, if you will. All right, so the last thing we have to do is actually test the system. So I've gone ahead and re-enabled all the NACs and uh, zones. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull it. All right, so as you can see, it does read alarm, shed pull slash heat. So that's good. The system does work as intended. All right, so yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you later.